The mid-ranger Galaxy F41 is an amazing phone which you must be already familiar with. It's quite identical to M31 in terms of specifications. It has similar display, similar battery capacity, similar processors and resembles with it in lot more areas. However, one major difference or change is in the camera department wherein the macro camera is missing on F41. Apart from that, this is more or less the Galaxy M31. Alright, before we go ahead and take a look at this phone, let me request you to be a part of Apex community to stay updated with Samsung phones, Galaxy watches, Android applications and more tech related subjects. All you need to do is just smash that subscribe button which will be highly appreciated. Now let's get rolling. This is definitely a good mid-ranger from Samsung which was launched in collaboration with Flipkart and sold in India. Now unboxing this phone, we get USB Type-C cable, 15 watt charger, SIM ejector tool, user manual and of course the device itself. There is no case and no screen protector pre-installed on this phone which is a shame. I feel these are really necessary when you buy a new phone and we don't really want to order the case or a protector separately and wait for it to arrive or walk out of the store to get one before which there are all chances that the phone would get some scratches already. Anyways, this is what it is. This is a beautiful looking phone in fusion blue color and we also have a couple of other color options such as fusion black and fusion green which look fantastic. We have a plastic back and plastic frame and they look decent for the price. End of the day most of us would put a case on it so the look of the body doesn't really matter much. Now I was really intrigued by three USBs of this phone. Number one, the battery. We have a 6000 mAh battery paired with 15 watt fast charger included in the box with which you can charge this phone 0 to 100% in about 2.5 hours which is definitely time consuming but given the size of the battery I'm assuming that you can charge it once in 2 days. Despite such a big battery the phone feels light and quite handy. Number 2 the display. We have got a 6.4 inches Full HD Plus S AMOLED Infinity U display which offers immersive experience while consuming media. We get a peak brightness of 420 nits which provides decent viewing experience under the bright lighting conditions as well. Now coming to the camera features, we have got a 64 megapixel main sensor which offers some decent quality images and videos. The second lens we have is a 5 megapixel live focus and the third one is a 8 megapixel ultra wide camera. The camera can record 4K up to 30fps and 1080p and Full HD at 30fps. And we do not have optical image stabilization on this phone, we only get gyro EIS. The selfie shooter is 32 megapixels and it can record videos up to 1080p at 30fps. As you can see here, the camera module is modern and looks pretty cool. And it's also worth noting that the ultra wide camera has 123 degree field of view which can offer pretty wide shots. We do get this single take feature as well wherein with a single click you can get multiple outputs. It is definitely a cool feature for those photo enthusiasts out there. Have a look at some of these images and videos taken from the rear camera. And here we have a couple of selfies taken from the 32 megapixel shooter which is on the front. As you can see here even the indoor photos are looking really good. And this is a video clip taken indoor. I feel the camera performance is pretty good for the price. Now coming to the rest of the specifications, this has an Exynos 9611 10 nanometer chipset which is common in most of the Samsung mid-range phones nowadays and we do have Mali G72 GPU. The chipset is decent, obviously for the price you pay. We get this phone in two different variants. We have got 6GB RAM and 64GB memory and we have got a 6GB RAM and 128GB memory. The one we have here is the 128GB version. And the RAM we get here is LPDDR4. And we also get an option to expand the memory up to 512GB. We get two SIM slots. We have got a rear mounted fingerprint scanner on this device. 
Out of the box, this is running on One UI 2.1 and upgradable to One UI 2.5. As of now, there is no confirmation about One UI 3.0 release dates for this device. Let's wait and see that. Now, coming to the price, this phone costs about Indian rupees 16,000 online, which is similar to M31's current price. All right, so this is a great device which carries value for money. You will be satisfied with its features and performance. Do note that the good lock modules may not work on this phone. So if you are into customizations on good lock modules, then you will be disappointed with this. However, for the price, this is a great device indeed. Anyways, this was a quick unboxing and initial impressions of a cool mid ranger from Samsung. If you like this video, do hit that like button and make sure you subscribe to the channel as well. That's all I have here. Thanks a lot for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.